and we're filming. Hi, I am Anya Gabriela Pilosong. I want to be a YouTube content creator and post educational content. I enjoy teaching and learning, so I'm going to share my abilities to others. Greetings, viewers. Today, I will show you how to use arithmetic sequence to solve real-life word problems. I have prepared a problem here, and let's analyze it together. There are 18 passengers in the first carriage and 24 passengers in the second carriage, 12 passengers in the third carriage, and so on. How many passengers are there in the 20th carriage? Can you tell me what is being asked in the given problem? Yes, that is right. You are asked how many passengers are there in 20th carriage, or shall we say 20th term? Now let's start solving. I will first show you the steps. We will have three steps in solving this. First, find the common difference, second, substitute, third, use the acronym PEMDAS, then solve. It is that easy. Time to solve. So to find the common difference, let us subtract the second term and the first term in the given problem, and that would be 24 and 18. When you subtract 24 to 18, you'll get 6, and that would be our common difference. Next step, the substitute. In this step, we only have to take not of the formula, which is an equals a1 plus n minus 1 multiplied to the common difference. In this word problem, our an or the unknown would be 20. Our a1 or our first term would be 18. Then substitute n with 20 minus 1 and then multiply it to 6. Now that we are done substituting, let us now solve. Let's take note of the acronym PEMDAS as well. So the first we have P for parenthesis. Let us first solve the numbers inside the parenthesis and that would be 20 minus 1. We'll get 19. Second, we have M for multiplication. Since we do not have an exponent, let us skip it. Let us multiply the 19 to our common difference, 6. We'll be getting 114. Third, we have A for addition. Since we will not use division for this problem, let us add 18 and 114. Then we'll get 132. And there you have it. Therefore, there are 132 passengers in the 20th carriage. That is all for today, my dear viewers. This topic is easy, isn't it? I hope you have learned something. Until next time.